Right, so the RA axis motor is a little bit different than the plates. The motor is exactly the same, but the plates are a bit different. So, again, I'm going to just dismantle the old plate by undoing these three screws. Um, making sure that my wires are facing out from you this time. That's the old plate removed, and we could at this point also remove the pinion. And then we need to separate these plates from each other. These are the mounting screws for the declination axis and I'm pretty sure that these screws are exactly the same so you can't really mix them up. Yep, they all seem to be the same length. So now these plates separated from each other um, with the wires facing away from you, you need to align this slot away from you as well. You put this plate back in. But I'm not going to screw this completely down yet because we need to uh, adjust the height of the pulley. Let me uh, quickly check the shaft. File that dent down a bit. Clean it up. Right, wires away, put the pinion back, make sure that one of those grub screws are facing the flat pin of the shaft. And with this in place and this in place, we need to, so we're going to have to screw this down, so otherwise this isn't going to work. Finger tightness is good for now because we're going to have to take this off anyway. Now, with the plates in place, we need to adjust the hardness of the pinion or the pulley. Too much. It seems good to me. To remove the plate to be able to tighten up the grub screws.
Again here, don't over tighten these because the pulley is aluminium and the screws are steel. Now final check, wires out, slot out, blade back in. Now we can uh, tighten these to the final tightness. And that's that. Right, so we are ready to install the motors back into the mount and that according to the instructions looks like a lot of fun.